What? What? What's the matter? A $20 wall charger slash battery, DirecTV and AT&T are getting in bed, and GoPro goes public. I'm John P. It's all here on Geek. This episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. Click it or stick it. First up, get them while they're hot. Actually, get them while they're available because Tilt has a new Kickstarter project and you can get their 2200 milliamp hour battery for just 20 bucks. But wait, there's more. If you order now, your new battery will also double as a wall charger. That's right, the new Tilt Energy 2K is a 2200 milliamp hour battery that plugs directly into the wall with its folding prongs. Tilt promises to only use Samsung high quality batteries and the charger will put out one amp, which is the max input for most phones. The battery is just big enough to, on average, double the life of a phone, but the $20 price point is only for the first 1,000 backers, and it's about half gone already, so hurry. Links in the show notes at geekme.tv forward slash 848. I already got one. If there wasn't enough consolidation in the telecom space, AT&T announced plans to buy DirecTV for $48.5 billion, with a B. Though the deal is said to be contingent on NFL tickets staying with the company. They also wanted to expand broadband infrastructure to 15 million customers in underserved rural areas. Internet speeds clock in around 6 megabits per second, which ain't bad when you're out milking the cows in the farm. The approval process is supposed to take about a year. Check the show notes at geekbeat.tv forward slash 848 for Ben's complete coverage. And win a free car! with the purchase of a $10,000 per month Geek Beat patronage. Not to be shown up by AT&T, Verizon announced its XLTE network, along with the lucky initial cities getting it. Before you get all excited about some new kind of LTE, just stop. It's not that. XLTE is just branding for Verizon deploying a second LTE network on the AWS band that AT&T and T-Mobile also use. It's a bit, a bit like uh, Sprint's Spark branding. While it's not revolutionary, you should notice a nice uptick in your LTE speed since the band won't be as congested. The initial XLTE rollout will cover a good portion of Verizon's network. Not every phone is compatible, but plenty are, including the Galaxy S4 and S5, Note 3, both versions of the HTC One M8, and the iPhone 5S and 5C. You can find a full listing of markets and phones in the show notes at geekby.tv forward slash 848. Did I mention today's show notes can be found at geekby.tv forward slash 848? Do we do show notes today? With that extra LTE juice, it'll take only three seconds to load the geekbeat.tv website. It also only takes three seconds to buckle your seatbelt, people. And it only takes three licks to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll Pop. You know, there are also three little pigs. Yeah. Two of which encountered disaster. Probably because they weren't wearing their seatbelts. I guarantee the Three Stooges didn't wear their seatbelt, but anyone who can get poked in the eye that many times still doesn't need to have one, I guess. Anyway, you got to wear your seatbelt every time because it ain't three strikes and you're out, folks. But if you haven't worn it the last few times, it's okay because third time's a charm. So remember, a genie might grant you three wishes, but they can't bring people back from the dead. So click it or ticket, it, folks. It only takes three seconds. Well, what started out as a camera project funded by family and friends 10 years ago has morphed into a company ready to go public in an attempt to raise $100 million or more. GoPro plans to list on the NASDAQ under the symbol GPRO, and I for one intend to get me some of that stock. I don't think it's going to be hard for them to raise money considering in 2011 the company sold 234.2 million, in 2012 they more than doubled to 526 million, and in 2013 it almost doubled again to 985.7 million. You might even be able to read more about it at geekme.tv forward slash 848. Oh, and while you're on the website, visit geekme.tv forward slash forums and join the 1,150 or so folks who are participating. And don't forget, we're taking pre-orders for the new Geekbeat t-shirt designs. Callie and I are testing out a bunch of shirt choices at the moment. And then we're going to get some samples made, and when they're ready, we'll show them off so you guys can see exactly what they're going to look like. You can still go ahead and pre-order the ones that we're having made, as well as the current designs, geekby.tv forward slash shop. 
That's it for today's show. I gotta head over to the new building to check on the progress. See you guys later.